protests are erupting in San Diego County right now with people trying to shut down a local freeway to voice their frustrations against the death of an unarmed black man, George Floyd, who was killed by a Minneapolis police officer who knelt on his neck for more than seven minutes. You're looking at video from Sky Fox, which was flying overhead the 8 freeway. This is near La Mesa, where protesters wearing uh, carrying flags and signs. They blocked the freeway there for a time. Those protesters overran police as police tried to intervene. Police tried to uh, block them on an overpass. We are told that SWAT is now taking control of the situation. Again, this video is from a little bit earlier today. Fox 5's Andrew Nemore, he's live in East County now with what is happening right now. Andrew. Well, Misha, we are currently here at Grossmont College. We wanted to be uh, a ways away from protesters simply to for safety of our crew but currently right now protesters are at the La Mesa Police Department's precinct let's take a look at Sky Fox right now right here we'll describe to you what's happening at the moment as we can see right now uh, earlier as we know that uh, that protesters were at the La Mesa Police Department uh, protesting because this week alone there was a uh, once again, a police department right now, uh, currently, as you can see, they are gathering outside. Uh, hand, uh, they have uh, signs, and uh, as we can see from Sky Fox, they have signs and crowding the front end of the police department. As you know, we actually were out here as protesters were getting on the freeway. Uh, freeway here in La Mesa. As we know, several freeways are currently blocked off at the moment. We just got this information uh, from police right now. Currently right now, eastbound I-8 at Lake Murray, westbound I-8 at Jackson, and the northbound, southbound State Route 125 connectors to westbound 1 I-8, excuse me, are currently closed right now. We were speaking to protesters earlier today. Uh, they are protesting just this week alone. Uh, there was a high profile case uh, involving a, a officer. We were in, involving an officer with the La Mesa Police Department. That officer was put on leave as police investigate the situation uh, that there was video on Wednesday that surfaced uh, 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 of a, of an arrest involving a black man uh, right now they are currently investigating that video just like you said protests are breaking out across the country right now in response to the death of george floyd george floyd as we said before uh, was in police custody uh, when when he died and as the video shows that a minneapolis police officer knelt on his neck for more than seven minutes uh, right here in San Diego County, we also experience our share of high profile cases as well. As we know, a couple years back in El Cajon, uh, Alfred Arlongo, unarmed, the unarmed shooting of Alfred Arlongo, also Earl McNeil with National City Police. As you can see right here on Sky Fox, they are currently still protesters on the freeway I-8. They have police or authorities have created a barricade, just like you mentioned, Misha. They mentioned, Misha, they uh, blew through the, the barricade when uh, police were trying to prevent them from getting on the freeway. Uh, and currently right now, they are right here, uh, as you can see on Sky Fox over here, overhead. Uh, as you can see, police officers and protesters on the freeway, as you, I should say, a square off as the, at the moment. Just incredible video uh, that we're seeing this happening all across the country, Andrew. And now it is here in San Diego, the incident um, with this police officer a few days ago at the Grossmont Trolley Station. Um, give people an idea of where you are and there's going to be a protest, uh, a planned protest, which a lot of times when they say it's planned protest, you know, they, they inform law enforcement that they're going to be there um, they have speakers and it remains very peaceful. What are you seeing where you are right now? Uh, from what we saw from the most part when we were uh, passing by and passing and seeing uh, protesters get on the freeway. Uh, and then we saw we stopped and got off on an exit as well, trying to avoid them as much as possible. But they kind of came in our direction. And some of the people that we spoke to say that uh, for the most part, things are pe pretty peaceful. Uh, but uh, a person that I know on the ground right now, he tells me that at some point things got a little dicey, uh, got a little aggressive. Um, so there was uh, definitely some, a share of peacefulness, but also... Uh, a share of agitation uh, regarding as far as protesters go. Uh, 
uh, as of right now. Uh, but what it looks to be, what I've seen so far on the ground, uh, people are, there's a lot of unrest to say the least. Uh, people are mad, they are angry, um, and they, they want change. Um, as you can see right here on Sky Fox, uh, we have right now authorities uh, walking up or driving up on Interstate 8 right now. Misha? It's yeah, it's uh, incredible to see. We understand the frustration of people have, you know, watching this. It seems like it's a, you know, weekly, monthly occurrence. Of course, it's the backdrop of COVID-19. You know, a lot of people talking about the frustration that people are feeling having been pent up for so long. Then this happens and all of their frustrations are just manifesting. And again, we're seeing it all across the country, a very violent, uh, terrifying situation in some cities. A lot of people saying, you know, people who have a voice right now and want their voice heard, they're not the ones that are doing the destructive acts. Coming onto a freeway is actually, you know, it's a pretty typical protest move and that you want your message to be heard and you know that that's going to give, people are going to stop. They cannot travel. They're going to see that message. Uh, we just hope that people keep it peaceful and um, and that nobody gets hurt here. So these are live images right now outside of the La Mesa Police Department. Looks to be oh, several hundred, a thousand people outside carrying signs. Um, we should let our viewers know too, we have Andrew stationed a little bit far away from this because there has been such a high incidence of reporters being attacked by protesters and we just do not want to put our people in harm's way but still being able to tell the story um, so he is not in the thick of it but you can see the police officers the officers there lining up in front of the police department this is the la mesa police department um, and the protesters right there in front with their signs, obviously um, chanting. You can see a lot of movement there if their signs going up and down. Um, very tense situation. The mayor uh, came out and spoke about what was happening across the country and said that, you know, again, uh, compassion and hearts going out to family and of um, Floyd George. But this is a very, very tense and heated situation that we are in right now. And you can see thousands of people airing their frustrations, being compelled to go out. A lot of people are saying they feel compelled to go out and join this because something has got to be done. Um, again, Andrew, so you're at Grossmont College. Um, is there a planned protest? And if so, what time? And are you seeing people gathering? Uh, you know, a planned protest we, we were talking about in El Cajon a little later on tonight. I'm trying to work on getting more details regarding that. Uh, but just like you said, uh, this is a, would you say, a bubble that has started to pop uh, of frustrations, I should say. Uh, since the COVID-19 pandemic, we know that uh, black and brown people uh, have been disproportionately uh, uh, affected by COVID-19, and then you have the recent cases of Ahmaud Arbery uh, in Brunswick, Georgia, Breonna Taylor in Louis Louisville, Kentucky, uh, and then the most, most recent part of uh, the Central Park woman who falsely accused a African-American male of assaulting her uh, and calling the police, uh, and then you have this, you have uh, George Floyd, the protests here, and a lot of frustrations are building up uh, around the country. Um, it is something that uh, I feel, uh, but at the same time, they uh, when, when we talk to protesters, when we when with some of the people that I just know in the community, in the black community here, they are trying to get their message. Uh, address. They do not want any uh, violence at all. There was actually, as we know, in Minneapolis uh, this morning, police confirming that they are, that everyone that was arrested last night was from out of state. Now they are currently investigating if white supremacist groups are inciting violence. Um, so that's something to think about as well, because on social media this, this week, there was a flyer going around of a supposedly protest and come to find out that protest and those organizers didn't have the best intentions. So right now there's a lot of things, a lot of factors are waning in uh, on a lot of people right now. And as you can see, this is the result of what's happening.
Absolutely. A lot of people. We'll send it back uh, to you, Misha. Thank you, Andrew. A lot of people calling for uh, the arrest and formal charges, murder charges on all of those officers. And until that happens, um, they will not stop hitting the streets like this. Again, here in San Diego, you're looking at live pictures. This is in La Mesa. Protesters made their way to the freeway. They made it onto an on-ramp on uh, across police barriers. The um, Eastbound 8 at Lake Murray is affected. The westbound 8 at Jackson and northbound 125 connectors to the westbound 8. These are all shut down right now as protesters are making their voices heard, getting their message out. And this is certainly a powerful way to do it because people are stopping and looking and listening and seeing. And so far it's uh, staying very peaceful. Again, we're seeing the same thing um, at the La Mesa Police Department and this all started well, it started a long time ago, but it's come to a head in the last five days in Minnesota, seeing this just horrific video of Floyd George. Basically, a lot of people saying being murdered, being killed on camera uh, for a full seven minutes with this officer's knee on his neck as he is pleading for his life and saying he cannot breathe. We had an incident of a police officer. The video showed from La Mesa police officer this arrest at the trolley station and that incited anger here and I guess in the way that this person was treated and now we're seeing the result of it and it comes on the heels of many cases in just in the last month people saying they are fed up and they are done so our viewers you need to know you should avoid the eight um, again it's the eight east at Lake Murray and west at Jackson and the 125 that's the connector there to the westbound eight are shut down because of protesters and a very very large crowd in front of the La Mesa Police Department as well. Um, as we have seen in other parts of this country, when nightfall comes, it gets a lot more dicey. Then you do have people coming out who are looking to cause trouble rather than just having their voices heard. When you listen to a national me media, national coverage, they talk about you know Martin Luther King Jr.'s message of peace where people walked arm in arm and they sang and they sat down and there wasn't this violence. Uh, there wasn't this destroying storefronts. Um, so um, we are watching this. We'll continue to monitor it for you.